Okay, diary, I've got a plan. I've got a plan and if I work every single minute for the rest of my life, I'm gonna make it happen. I've got a plan, I'm gonna wake up at seven every morning, I'm gonna just have breakfast for five minutes, grab my coffee and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sit there for hour after hour, I'm gonna work through every little detail, I'm gonna build this really big company, I'm gonna start up this really cute, uh, really, really big project and eventually I'm gonna take over the world. Yeah, you hear it, heard it here first, I'm gonna take over the world. If you have ambition and if you have the intelligence to make your ambitions come true, you can achieve anything and I have the intelligence. I have the ambition, I have the drive, and I have the vision. Nobody else can see it but me, but I know exactly what we need to do. I know exactly what humanity needs to do to get us out of this crisis that we're faced with. I've got plans for space rockets. I've got plans for these new innovations, artificial intelligence, everything, and using my mind and working every day tirelessly to hone my mind and to put it together, I'm gonna develop these innovations. I'm gonna fix what nobody else can fix. Truth is, most people out there are lazy. Yeah, I don't wanna be crude, but it's true. Most people out there are lazy. They waste time. They waste time on sleep. They waste time on friendships. They waste time on all these kinds of things that only suck energy. And if you want to be great, you got to learn to get rid of the distractions. There are so many distractions in this world. And what you need to do is you need to be able to get rid of these distractions. You need to... And here is something I've been working on. I have a new idea. Maybe I can cut out sleep. Yeah, I've been reading up about it online and it might be possible to eliminate the human need of sleep. Only a very few individuals out there seem to have been able to do it. But if you develop this new sleep rhythm in which you only sit down with eyes closed for 15 minutes every day, that's all the sleep you're gonna need. You're not gonna need sleep, you can just do this for 15 minutes a day and for the rest of the time you can go. You can go and you can go. And you can keep going for as long as you want, as long as your ambition allows you. I have figured most people out. Actually, I'm really good at reading people. I know exactly what they want and I know how they think and I know how they work. I know everything about how people work. I know what actions they're gonna take, I know how they're gonna act in different situations, and I know who I can trust and who I can't trust. True it is, most people cannot be trusted. Most people will betray you, most people will use you, most people have bad intentions. But if you figure them out, and if you can read people like I can, it will never happen to you. Now, I've thought about this situation. I've planned this out in my head. I've thought about every single possible scenario. I've thought exactly about how it's gonna happen and how it's gonna put, uh, come together. I've planned out the rest of my life, the, Every single year, I know exactly what I'm going to do and how I'm going to get it done. What's that? Why did people do that? That, that? that was not what I planned. Help. Oh my God, this was completely unexpected. Oh no. Oh no. I was... I, I, it's all falling apart. I'm losing control. Oh my God. How could I not see this coming? How could I not know this was gonna happen? It always happens. I'm cursed. I'm cursed with bad luck. Everyone is against me. All the people out there are trying to sabotage me. They're trying to cheat me. They're lying to me. They're manipulating me. I should have known nobody can be trusted. Nobody can be counted on. Everybody messes up. Everyone around me is an idiot. I'm so overwhelmed. Oh, there's so much. There's so much to do. There's so many people. There's so many things happening around me. 
I can't. I can't take it anymore. I'm just gonna delete everything. I'm gonna take away Facebook. I'm gonna leave everything. I'm gonna go away to a place where nobody can find me. I. I'm done with this. I'm done with this life. I'm done with all the people. I'm done with all the expectations. I'm done with the, all the clutter. I'm just gonna get out to somewhere. So I don't know where. I'm just gonna get away from here. Lately, I've been realizing that I live too much in my own head. I'm too caught up in my own mind, you know, I have so many ideas and so many plans, but I never really do anything, you know? I get so caught up in thinking about it that I forget to act on it. Like, what if I could just release some of my inhibitions? What if I could just let go once in a while? I want control, I want everything to be organized and structured and perfect, but nothing ever is. What if I could just go? What if I could just try? What if I could what if I could just let myself experiment a little bit? I imagine if I just thought about it a little more and put it out there and saw what happened, I could do something really cool. I could really find something. I could really make some groundbreaking discoveries. And you know, while I might not be right about everything, in the practice, some good things might come out of my ideas, you know. I have some ideas out there, they're untested, but they're quite cool, you know. And there might be something behind it. What if I went out and I ran some research and I got some data and I actually tested out how it worked? Lately I've been realizing, you know, I make up my mind too quickly. I'm too set, you know. I always think I know everything. I always think I have it all figured out. But truth is, there's a lot I don't know. And sometimes it's good to, you know, listen to other people and, you know, let other people come in and in, uh, share their ideas. And sometimes if I, even if I think it's wrong, there are times when it might be good to give them the benefit of the doubt and say, you know, you know what, let's try it. You know what, I don't know. I doesn't, I'm not sure, but let's try it, you know, because Lately, I've been realizing I've been proven wrong a lot, you know. Uh, there's been so many times I thought I figured out something. I thought I knew somebody. I thought I had it all set. I thought I had it all planned. But some people, you know, they surprise you. And sometimes, you know, life cannot be predicted. Not everything can be figured out, you know. That's why you need to keep an open mind. You need to actually think, okay, what can actually happen here? How could this actually happen? Like, I know I think it's gonna happen this way. I know I want, I've said I, this is the best way. I know this is, uh, this, uh, this is the plan, but there are times when it can be good to go off the script. Okay, I know I'm not sounding more like myself, but it's true, you know, there are times when it's good to go out of the script. It's, there are times when it's good to experiment and to try out new things. Lately, lately I have been wishing it was just easier. You know, I just wish life was easier. I just feel so done with it. You know, I just feel like yeah, okay, like. I've been so sure of myself and who I am and what I want to do with life, but what is the point? You know, what is the point of anything? It's probably not going to work out anyways. It's just going to get, everything is just going to go to hell anyways. Nobody's going to care about what I think. Nobody's going to, everybody is just going to be against it anyways. People don't believe in me. People already think I'm the bad guy. So what the hell, you know? Screw it. I'm done. I'm just going to, I'm just out. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to leave and go uh, somewhere, you know, and just be done with it.
Okay, so today's INTJ Impro was all about showing the INTJ from different perspectives, you know. INTJs will act and come off differently, you know. You know the stone-faced INTJ, you know the hardcore ambitious INTJ, you know the more carefree INTJ, you know the more mature INTJ, you know the more open-minded one. Like, you're gonna go through every single one of these phases and you're gonna have these moments in your life. You're gonna have times when you doubt people. You're gonna struggle sometimes with uh, the world around you. You're gonna realize that not everything can be predicted and you're gonna realize what can be predicted because there are things out there that are within your control. There are things out there that you can do. There are projects out there, ambitions that you can complete. And yeah, you might not be able to complete everything you might not be able to find the answer to every single question, but every little piece of information counts. It's not a sum of ones or zeros. It is a matter of nuance. And I say this as a line of J, but there is a matter of nuance here. There is a matter of uh, like the next groundbreaking discovery and the one after that and the one after that. There is a progression. And there is an innovation and you know there is a step by step you know things get better things get improved you know you get deeper you know you meet people that you can open up to and you meet people out there you can trust and you know people that will believe in you you know uh, and it does matter you know like I know sometimes you want to tell yourself it doesn't matter what people think and but it does matter and it is a stress on you and uh, you can't run away from it. It's going to be there even if you're in a cave or even if you're far away. You know, uh, what people think is going to count inside. You know, you can't run away from a voice inside. <laughs> That's the thing. So you got to be able to confront it and open up and, you know, take times to check in with yourself. How am I feeling? What am I worrying about? What am I dealing with right now? And... Uh, uh, essentially, I feel INTJs have to grow up, grow out of this absolutist thinking, you know, the idea that everything is black and white, everything is either crystal clear or it's complete chaos, everything is either, everyone is either trustworthy or everyone is a liar, you know, uh, it's not that easy, you know, then sometimes, you know, people lie, but they still have good intentions and sometimes people mess up, but they still do some things right, you know. Uh, INTJs, they're quite perfectionistic and they have high standards for themselves as well as other people. So learning to manage those standards and to use them to better yourself and to better other people and to help others and, you know, to uh, come out on top of a situation without letting it doom you into fatalism or, uh, you know, like the feeling that everything is wrong or that nothing will ever be good or enough, you know. Uh, what you have to figure out this you're on a spaceship without an instruction manual N nobody has told you how to run your ship nobody has told you how to use your mind nobody has told you what your emotions and feelings and struggles mean or how to respond to them so you're gonna have to figure that out on your own but I hope that my videos are some help and if you ever feel you want to talk to somebody you can always reach out to me through patreon.com slash Eric I hope you like this video and I hope you found this relatable and for everyone thanks for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.